<clears throat> when it begins to rain, thank you. Most drivers immediately switch on their windscreen wipers. And then, of course, they close the windows. Naturally, the windows begin to mist up. So the good driver switches on the screen heater and demister. If visibility is poor, headlights must be used. Windscreen washers should be used constantly to clear spray and dirt thrown up by other vehicles. This is essential when driving in high-speed traffic. And finally, in wet weather, slow down. Now, if you have to brake in the wet, you need at least twice the space to stop it. Well done. So there you are. You now know how to reach your destination safely in the rain. Or when you get there, make sure you've got an umbrella. Driving in fog is dangerous. She can see! I can't see anything! So switch on your headlights. And slow down and keep a safe distance. Headlights or fog lights must always be used in fog. Be careful, Joe! 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 Don't get the fog! Hi there. If you're a motorist, watch this space. That could be your car in a fog. Not much for a driver coming up behind to see, is it? That's better. Now, most of us who've got rear fog lamps don't need much telling to use them when it's really foggy. After all, who needs a rear end shunt? But did you know that rear fog lights are 20 times brighter than ordinary rear lights? And that means if you also use them in traffic at night, then look what can happen. Dazzle. And if the windscreen is wet, then the driver behind could be in real trouble. Because if you brake, the chances are he won't even see your brake lights come on. So, only use rear fog lamps when there's a real danger that otherwise you won't be seen. And the rest of the time, think of the poor driver behind. He doesn't want to run into you, but if you dazzle him, he just might. Beware of rear dazzle. I used to have a terrible time with my headlights. I found they gave a lot of trouble to people I overtook, and traffic and pedestrians coming towards me. Their effect was quite devastating. So I called in my doctor, Gus, the noted brain surgeon. He said there was nothing wrong with the adjustment, and then he gave me a switch that makes my lights more manageable. He calls it a dip switch. Now, when I go out at night, I'm no trouble to anyone. My friends who have cars tell me they have dip switches too. <laughs> 